A fish. A fish. A fish. A fishy. Ooh. Where is my bit of halibut? It's not, Kate. No, I mean, they, they would have left at sort of first light uh, this morning on the coast uh, of Cali. So what a crazy year. 2020, yo. We've had the fires in Australia, bombs in Iran, riots in America, explosions in Beirut. We all got a really, really bad cold. And now we've got immigrants in dinghies. Yes, it's still going on, thanks to Nigel Farage initially, but now everybody's talking about this. And according to Nigel Farage, there are around 48,000 illegal immigrants now stored around the UK in various hostels and hotels. Now, 48,000 may seem a lot to you and I, especially if we converted that into pounds sterling. But to people like um, Gary Lineker, well, this is just loose change, perhaps enough to heat his swimming pool for an hour. Interestingly enough, for somebody who might even get close enough to smell these illegal immigrants, he has a lot to say on the subject. Just the other day, he tweeted this. Can we make it clear that not everyone in this country is heartless and completely without empathy? These poor people deserve the help of their fellow human beings. In response to this, the MP for Ashfield, Lee Anderson, had this to say to Gary Lineker. What do you say to people uh, like Gary Lineker, those people who like to virtue signal on social media, talking about how we should be a welcoming country and that the people who don't want to see these desperate people coming here uh, should be ashamed of themselves? What do you say to him? Well, I've got some good news for Gary Lineker this morning. Um, If he wants to email me, his full name, address, postcode, and details of the accommodation that he currently resides on, I will make sure that's available for the next boat of illegal immigrants to come and live in. Bed and breakfast, of course. Oh, of course, that would be wonderful. I'm sure he'd be delighted uh, to host those uh, people, Lee. But this is the ridiculous nature of these kind of people, isn't it? You know, they wouldn't want anywhere near uh, a a, a camp of any kind. They wouldn't want any hotels nearby uh, to be renting rooms out uh, to Serco so they could house illegal immigrants in there. You know, they just say these things because it makes them think that people will think well of them. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's the liberal left again, Mike, virtue signalling, trying to say all the right things, trying to tweet tweet out the right messages on social media to look popular. But I tell you what, it's not popular because the silent majority in this country are right behind the common sense group. Of course, we can forgive Gary Lineker up to a certain point because we all know he's a bit of a twat. Well, he's not defecating in his own football shorts. He's trying to avoid tax and getting divorced by his wives. The same thing can't be said, of course, for Ben and Jerry's UK, the ice cream giants who have also waded into this argument. Ben and Jerry's UK, who are now owned by Unilever, decided to take a break from making their rubbish ice cream to uh, give Pretty Patel some advice about illegal immigrants. Hey, at Pretty Patel, we think the real crisis is our lack of humanity for people fleeing war, climate change and torture. We pulled together a thread for you. People wouldn't make dangerous journeys if they had any other choice. The UK hasn't resettled any refugees since March, but wars and violence continue. What we need is a more safe and legal route. No, Ben and Jerry's, what we need is for you to shut the hell up and carry on making your overpriced and overrated horrible ice cream. Obviously, this nonsense from Ben & Jerry's UK went down like a dead rat in a tampon factory. Julia Hartley Brewer said, Hey Ben & Jerry's, your opinions on ice cream flavours are welcome, but I'm not sure virtue signalling about border controls is really your area of expertise. Get back to freezing cream and leave the woke politics to somebody else. And from James Cleverly, can I have a large scoop of statistically inaccurate virtue signalling with my grossly overpriced ice cream, please? (laughs) And DSG pointed out that Ben & Jerry's exploited migrants on dairy farms for years. This only stopped in 2017 after the workers organised and took them on and won. Good old David Vance said it was great to see Ben & Jerry's getting absolutely ripped on social media over their woke pro-illegal migration tweet. Of course, the only thing that will stop them is if we stop buying their overpriced products. You know what to do. And a while ago, I would have totally agreed with David Vance, but I'm not sure anymore, you know. I used to think this virtue signalling nonsense was all about selling a few more tea bags or a few more tubs of ice cream. But, you know, I think there's something much more sinister going on here. 
This from Pat Condal, a foreign owned junk food corporate takes time out from promoting obesity and diabetes to support the criminals flooding into the UK and lecture us on how to run our country. What could possibly go wrong? Not every tweet was like this, of course, like this one from a UK hating Yasmin Ali Barbar Brown, who said, right, buying several tubs of Ben & Jerry's UK ice creams today. Well, good luck with that. Let's hope you don't choke on it. With the news today that the UK is going to fall into the worst recession out of any other country, and of course, jobs are going to absolutely plummet, does it make sense that we're bringing in these unemployed illegal immigrants. What's going on? A recent YouGov poll suggested that almost half of Britons say they have little to no sympathy for the migrants. But why would we? These are not refugees. These are people of past at least seven different countries that are perfectly safe where they can claim asylum. No, the only reason they're coming to the UK is because we've been rolling over and taking it up the Aris for years. Meanwhile, migrants crossing the English Channel warn they will jump overboard and attempt to drown if their boats are stopped. Well, I'm just in bits over here. And presumably they're running out of hotels because now homeowners are being asked to house these migrants in their spare rooms. People like Gary Lineker, who must have hundreds of spare rooms in his many properties. So come on, Gary, how many will you be uh, housing? And that goes for the people uh, running Ben & Jerry's too. How many will you be personally sharing your houses with? I mean, you could give them a tub of your rubbish ice cream, couldn't you? Okay, that's it from me. Bye-bye now. <laughs>